Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a rather notorious pair of gauntlets that uh, has has been uh, rather funly referred to as Frosties. Uh, they are Frostburn gauntlets. Frostburn gauntlets are uh, 49 defense. They are strength requirement 60, which is relatively high for uh, for casters, which is what they are kind of meant for. Uh, they have five per, uh, level 29 requirement and 5% uh, enhanced damage on them, which is just, just like a little bit of extra physical damage, which is kind of odd. Uh, they have 1 to 6 cold damage, which of course will help out uh, your attacks if you're a cold character. Um, you could, for instance, use these on a uh, ice Amazon. And uh, the extra cold duration from the 1 to 6 on the gauntlets would actually help out your, uh, your cold damage, believe it or not. And... Um, we also have 20% uh, enhanced defense on these, uh, 30 flat defense, and then we also have increases maximum mana by 40%, which is just massive. Um, it's kind of hard to undersell this particular uh, bonus because it is just a super duper massive amount of mana that uh, that is added onto your your mana pool, and, uh, and I think that's one of the things that I really want to explore before we go into detail. Um, about uh, like who can use these and whatnot. Uh, but before we do that, uh, let's talk very quickly on the variances on this particular items, and uh, we'll also talk about the cold duration. So uh, the uh, defense does vary from uh, 10 to 20%. Uh, so not, not a huge variance on the defense there, but these do have relatively high defense because they are gauntlets, which is the highest tier um, of normal difficulty gauntlets. And uh, we also have a uh, small duration on the cold damage of two seconds so uh so we do have two seconds on the cold duration for the one to six now let's look at this a bonus to maximum mana and let's really kind of explore this shall we so uh, i'm gonna pull up my panel here um so you can see the numbers let's click on these numbers as well to make sure they're showing um so we have uh, right now we only have 399 mana when we put on these gauntlets we will go up by 40 percent which so we're going to go from Basically, 400 mana to 100, 550 mana, which is nuts. And if you combine this with other items that give you maximum mana, like for instance, the uh, the Stone of Jordan rings give you 25% each. Silkweave boots give you another 10%. You can go literally from 400 mana to 858. And every single point of energy that you have, or every single point of mana that you have, is going to be multiplied. Let's take, for instance, uh, the rather large bonus to mana that's on this amulet of uh, 42. So we currently have 858, and when we take off 42 mana, we go down to 774. We lost literally way more than 42 mana. Um, and this is kind of the very interesting thing about increases to maximum mana is that it works very well with bonuses to mana. So if you are like an energy shield sorceress, you're a character that just has relatively high amounts of, uh, of, of mana for some reason, things like these can multiply your mana out and make them really, really effective. Uh, granted, I'm using multiple items here. But Frosties by themselves still give a rather large boost to your mana pool. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well... What does mana matter if I use it all up in 10 seconds and it goes away? Well, the beautiful thing about mana regeneration, especially warmth, which is relatively high, but any kind of mana regeneration that you have from any source, including meditation, by the way, all function based on the amount of mana you have. So if you have relatively no mana, the regeneration is very poor. If you have high mana, the regeneration is much faster. Let me give you an example here. So right now I'm rocking 330% um, warmth, right? So, uh, so let's go outside of town and uh, let's take off all my plus Evil to maximum beware. mana equipment, right? So we have everything off that's giving us plus to maximum mana except for maybe... Um, Maybe there's some on this equipment, I don't know. But we only have 399 mana right now. Let's take a spell that is relatively high mana cost. Uh, I do believe Enchant is really, relatively high, so it's 50 mana cost per cast. Not enough mana. So 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, 4-1000, 5-1000. Six one thousand, 
seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand, eleven one thousand, twelve one thousand, thirteen one thousand, fourteen one thousand, fifteen one thousand, sixteen one thousand, seventeen one thousand, eighteen. About eighteen seconds to regenerate my mana back to full with my current gear. Let's do the same test with maximum mana equipment on. So there's really no difference here. There's no regeneration of mana on these items. There's no regenerate mana on silk weaves. There's no regenerate mana on the the uh, the soges, and there's no regenerate mana on the frost burns. But I guarantee you, my mana rege will regenerate much faster. All right, so let's test this one more time. You notice also I had a much harder time getting my mana Money to zero. Mana. I need mana. So 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 6 1,000, 7 1,000, 8 1,000, 9 1,000, 10 1,000, 11 1,000, 12 1,000, 13 1,000, 14 1,000, 15 1,000, 16 1,000, 17 1,000, 18 1,000, 19 1,000, 20 1,000. So as you can see here, I regenerated double the amount of mana in roughly same, the same amount of time that it took me to regenerate 400. And this is the way that mana regeneration works, is that the more mana you have, the faster it regenerates. I had already regenerated 400 mana at 10 seconds. Watch it again. So in this in the same time span, I regenerated double. But literally right here, we've already regenerated the 400 mana we had previous. And now we're regenerating another 400 mana within the same time period. The more mana you have, the faster it regenerates to the point of absurdity. And eventually it will get to the point, if you can get your mana pool high enough, um, you can literally never have any issue with mana regeneration again and to show you to really to really show you this let me go over to my sorceress who's online who's rocking a rather large amount of mana uh, and mana regeneration so this is my energy shield sorceress and just to give you guys an example i want you to see that i can teleport around and almost never really run out of mana you can see that my mana is going down, but my regeneration is so fast that it's keeping up almost with my spamming of the, uh, the teleport ability. To the point where, literally, if I take a small breather, you'll notice that my mana just soars back upward. And this is not even a completed mana shield sorceress. She still has quite a ways to go. She needs more equipment. She needs more levels. Um, she needs more points and energy. Uh, mind you, but uh, but for the most part, uh, this is kind of how I wanted to show you that mana regeneration works so well. If you're having, if you're ever having any issues with mana regeneration, consider bringing up your mana pool. That is usually the easiest way to fix mana regeneration. And um, frostburn gauntlets. So where can what can we use frostburn gauntlets on? Well, we can use frostburn gauntlets on sorceresses. We can use it on. Um, any character that would like a larger mana pool, but obviously the more mana you have, the better it works. However, you can put on items that give you raw mana. Uh, very, very nicely is that any item that will give you a rather large amount of raw mana will also uh, be multiplied by things like frost burns. So uh, if you have like a ring, like a lot of the times I will come across like a random ring and it will be like, a ring of the worm or something and it will have like 114 mana on it or some crazy number like that when you throw on a ring that has a large bonus to mana it has a rather nice effect on how much your mana pool goes up as you can see this ring only has 40 mana on it and we're at 718 and we go from 718 to 788 um, i mean it's practically double the value <laughs> Mr. Nini has been sleeping the entire time that I've been uh, I've been recording. He's just in here hiding, hiding away. Aren't you going to come out and say hi to people? 
You don't even care, do you? <laughs> anyway, if you want to find yourself a pair of Frosties, let's go over to the Silos Pen and let's take a quick look and see what kind of uh, areas we would want to farm for a pair of Frosties. Frosties are actually pretty sweet gauntlets, especially early game, early ladder. Uh, they can be extremely useful. So uh, let's see where we can find them. In fact, let's focus this on normal difficulty because I feel like that is a, a good thing for looking for Frosties. And uh, let's go to Frostburn Gauntlets. We're going to assume we have 0% magic find because we are noobs and we're looking for a pair of Frosties for our brand new sorceress, which we've only just created. And uh, it looks like to me, Pindle Skin in normal difficulty is uh, 1 in 5,346. That's not a bad choice. That's an easy kill. You could, you could kill him over and over again um, in normal difficulty, fairly easy. And uh, you can get yourself a nice, uh, nice set of Frosties from him. Um, a lot of monsters on this list, but I think Pindle Skin really stands out as the easiest one to kill there. Uh, let's look at bosses, shall we? So we've got a, uh, a rather good possibility that it's going to come from Diablo or Bale, as well as Neelithak. Very good chances, too. Uh, in fact, in your quest kills, your first kill, you got a 1 in 289 and uh, 1 in 310 for Bale. So uh, you could very easily farm Diablo over and over again in normal difficulty. Uh, there's a lot of good items that Diablo can drop in normal. And um, let's take a look at all real quick just to see if there is a better spot as far as probability is concerned. Uh, but no, it doesn't look like it looks like Diablo in normal difficulty is the best boss no matter what. Although for some reason, Mephisto in Hell on the quest kill has a really high probability. <laughs> By then, I would hope you have some better gauntlets. Um, and Dariel in Nightmare is not a bad option as well. Uh, 1 in 514. It's interesting. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Um, even when they are about some very chilly Frostburn gauntlets. And, uh, as always, keep watching.